Let's discuss balanced immune function, which is so critical for recovery from autoimmune conditions, from inflammatory conditions, from excessive allergies, uh, from even cancer. So let's discuss a concept called Th1, Th2 balance. And these are a, a type of uh, T cells that go one direction or the other and it's important for them to be balanced in this response for us to be as healthy as possible. If we're unbalanced, we're going to have more of one problem or the other. It's kind of like a teeter-totter. We're going to see one side down or excessive and the other side not enough. And this creates significant issues for us. Those that are Th1 dominant may have autoimmune conditions like Hashimoto's thyroid or Graves' disease, which we uh, see quite often. They may have uh, MS or psoriasis or rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, mentally, they may tend more toward depression, anxiety, or insomnia. Um, they, uh, they may get sick a little less often, but they may have uh, lots of other uh, issues. Then we see people in Th2 dominance where they have excessive food allergies or seasonal allergies. That's been me in the past and that's something that I've uh, dealt with this, uh, particularly this year is this Th2 dominance helping me with uh, do better with seasonal allergies. So Th2 dominance may have more of a histamine intolerance, more chronic fatigue. We may want to keep more others at a distance or uh, have low stress tolerance or feel that we're not understood, things like that. So there's a number of things that factor into this Th1, Th2 dominance. And it's not always easy to tell, but we can often get clues from a person's conditions and symptoms. And then we can get clues if we want to do advanced uh, immune testing, but that's a little complicated and can be more expensive. So in our office, we use uh, our QNRT system, our system of quantum neural reset therapy will give us very strong clues of whether a person is Th1 or Th2 uh, dominant. And then how do we deal with that if we have an imbalanced immune system? Well, we know that certain dietary things can factor in there, and we know that certain supplements will help balance us. Like if we are Th2 dominant, as I've been with seasonal allergies and things like that, and when I test my immune system, my natural killer cells were low, then I want to take things like astralgus and echinacea and medicinal mushrooms to boost up that side of my immune system. And I've been doing that for the last six months and it's been a, an amazing help. If our uh, Th1 side is high and then we want to stimulate that Th2 side so we don't have enough of that antibody side for us, then we want to take things like curcumin, green tea, resveratrol, and caffeine. So those are some of the examples. But the other thing we want to know is we need balanced brain function to restore our immune system. Because if our left or right brain is imbalanced, that's going to tend us toward more of a Th1 or a Th2 response. And that's why our brain balance adjustment is so powerful uh, in autoimmune conditions and many other uh, health issues. Next, we need to have a good balanced uh, brain in terms of our limbic system. And so the limbic system of our brain that's dealing with emotional stress and trauma, when that's out of balance, it's going to drive us more toward a Th1 or a Th2 response. And by the way, those with high Th2 um, imbalances may tend toward more cancer too. So. We need this balanced uh, limbic system. And in QNRT, we have ways of uncovering specific stressors that you've experienced or that have tagged your genetic expression so that certain genes will show up, express more, or be suppressed more. And so we want genes that are uh, expressive for disease to be suppressed 
and we want genes that are expressive for health to be expressed. And so we can find stressors that go along the lines of um, shame, hurt, fear, anger, forgetting, or judgment. And these can be, we might even, call, in homeopathy, they would call them miasms or weaknesses that, that either we experience and set a disease process in motion or that we have been tagged with, so to speak, in our genetics through what's called epigenetics, meaning stress changes that change how the gene is expressed or not expressed. And so in QNRT, we can find those and we can reset the brain and limbic system on those and that can help a person have a more balanced immune function. And so as we start to balance that immune function, we see people recover much easier from autoimmune conditions. We see people like myself who had a lot of seasonal allergies, we see that calm down and I've been doing so much better this year. Uh, we see uh, different inflammatory conditions that may not have a name get more, get more balanced and, and do better. So that's some of the ways that we've addressed that. Of course, vitamin D is a big stabilizer for the immune system. We need our vitamin D and essential fatty acids and things like that doing well. We might need hormones balanced because um, low testosterone in a guy or low estrogen in a female might tend us more toward a Th1 or Th2 imbalance. So those are all things to think about and things that we do think about and things that we do have action strategies for and that those are things that we address with patients so that they can have the best opportunity for autoimmune recovery or be the least likely to have cancer or a recurrence of cancer or they can be the most likely to have their allergies calm down and that not be such an issue for them. So those are all things that we address related to immune balance and this concept of Th1, Th2 balance. And you'll, you can read more about it on the internet, but it's very, um, you know, it's very challenging for the practitioner to address. And, and in our QNRT system, we have some very precise ways to guide us along those lines and help us help people get balanced. So I'm Dr. Michael Winters, Winters Wellness, Chiropractic Redefined. Watch many of our other autoimmune videos and our autoimmune recovery uh, testimonials. And we look forward to helping you uh, be healthier so share this information. Thank you.